Hey, so we're gonna try something out today. Uh, you know, you've been seeing online about these plexiglass protectors for the uh, SARS-CoV-2 virus protection for intubating. So we got we got a, a, a patient here. Uh, we've got an intubator here. Dr. Sharma's actually a PICU attending who's doing some moonlighting down the ER with us today. And, and then, um, so tell us a little bit about the product. Uh, so this product is uh, was requested a couple days ago by a local pulmonologist um, and actually has come out of a local woodworking shop that learned how to do uh, plastics on the fly. So basically the uh, design came from a, a doctor in Singapore and this is the current generation that we're going to try today. Okay, so what we were interested in, we were interested though for, for a neonate, for an infant, whether we would need to request the windows the, the arm openings to be adjusted in any way. And so we just, you were here, you said you'd be willing to come show it. So uh, we're back in the corner. This is kind of where we do our intubations right here. So Dr. Simons, uh, she's with us today too. So, uh, all right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and, and put this thing up here. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna do the, we're doing, we're doing a video laryngoscope. This one, this one, this one. So we put the equipment inside there. So this is the first time we've ever done this, all right? I'm seeing the vocal cord right now. Okay. And I'm inserting inside the vocal cord. That's fine. Yeah. Hey, so, so, so you're there. You're at the cords, and so it's it's. Now this is a mannequin, and even though we put some lubricant on there, it it may be a little bit more resistant to going in. I think the bagging will the be a problem. The bagging may be a problem. We can try to see how the bagging goes. Yeah. Yeah, bagging is fine. I believe that it is easier with the C-Mac to intubate with this box, but to do it um, blindly without the old-fashioned way, yeah. I believe that it is feasible, just slightly more awkward. All right, so you, you, you've taken the patient closer to yourself then. I'm trying to... To the direct. Yeah, we're just doing DL. We're not looking at the screen. I'm looking at the screen. You're not. See how awkward How so? How much lower is the I question? The, um, I think lower where the hair level is. Okay, I want to get an idea of where his arms actually okay. are. So okay. if you'll if you'll move that plexiglass. So you don't you, you don't want those openings way down though, because no, no, no. you look yeah. where his arms are. You know, here. but what I'm saying is that if they're slightly more down, it'll be a bit more comfortable. We can yeah. adjust to it. Now they're too high up, so you're yeah, yeah. really having a hard yeah. time manipulating. Right. So we now we have the adult mannequin now. Yeah, so that baby slides right in very easily. So our, your your arm location. So your arms are resting on the plastic. Yeah. So let's let's drop the bed Can down. Can I lower it a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Cuz like if I were doing chest compressions, I'd probably even do it a little bit lower. Oh, yeah. True. So like, I mean, this is probably fair. Is that okay for you where you are? Um, yeah, actually that's not bad. Now, so so our problem was that we had the bed too high. Just I was just thinking for like yeah. for other Well, for of the other stuff you have in. to do too. So yeah, so you have to have the bed. so if your bed's too high, am I am I thinking straight on this? If your bed's too high, then basically that creates more of an angle, uh, downward angle on your arms. I think basically what we want to do is to take this and get it probably just go like right in between here. Yeah. You agree? Yes. Okay. Okay.